Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a complete guide on how to use the multimeter. The multimeter is used to measure a lot of electrical parameters. The first part of the multimeter is the ampere. When you are measuring current in ampere, the red cable comes here. When you are measuring in milliampere, this probe is there. And when you are measuring amperes, the probe is there. When you are measuring both voltage, resistance, and capacitance, the probe is there. The common probe always stays there. The first component I have here is the BGT. This is bipolar junction transistor. As you can see, bipolar junction transistor. In this transistor, we measure it in the HFE mode. The HFE mode is the forward current gain of a transistor. This HFE. Now, in this, when you you move your multimeter to the HFE mode, you can measure two parameters of a transistor. One is the forward current gain, which is called the HFE. You can also use this to determine which of the terminal is base and which is emitter and collector, and see the amplification factor. Now, when you hold your transistor like this, with the flat side facing you, this is the emitter, base, and collector. Now, we are going to determine if our transistor is NPN or PNP. This is how we do it. Hold your transistor facing the flat side facing you, and then the base is always uh, at the center terminal. So when you place it like this, you see this is a NPN. This side, the upper side is NPN. If it is NPN and it has a gain of 173, this is the forward current gain, which is called HFE or beta, is 173. You can see it is NPN. If you try to measure with PNP side, it will not read anything. Let's see our second transistor. Let's see if it is an NPN or PNP. It does not read in the NPN. It is reading. It is an NPN transistor with a gain of 149. That is the HFE or beta. It's 149. The third one, let's see. The other transistor is an NPN with a gain of 167. The other transistor. Now this one is a PNP. This is a PNP transistor with a gain of 121. You can see it is reading at the PNP terminal, but it is not reading at the NPN terminal. It cannot read here. Once it reads in the NPN, it will not read because it cannot be on both. It cannot read there, but here you can get the gain as 121. Let's see the other one. This is also a PNP transistor. It is having a gain of 151. The second thing we are going to read is the AC voltage. If you want to measure AC voltage using your multimeter, this is the AC voltage. That is where we measure AC voltage. And then we have our main supply here to measure using our multimeter. Now, you can see our multimeter is in the AC voltage mode. Because our AC mains is 240 volts, I take my multimeter to a range of 750. And now, I measure my AC voltage from these terminals. These terminals are having AC voltage. Now, we are going to measure the voltage, the AC voltage from there, the red there, and the black, you can see. Our AC voltage. You can see our AC voltage is 247 volts. From the AC voltage, you go to measure DC voltage, direct voltage, the DC. You can see here, I have DC voltage sources. This one you can see, it is 1.5 volts. When we want to measure the voltage of this uh, DC source, our battery, we take it to a range of 2 volts because it is 1.5 volts. So the range is important. This is the positive terminal, we place it there. And the negative terminal, we place it here. You can see it is reading 1.6 volts. Now we go to how to measure resistance. How to measure resistance using a multimeter. Now I have several resistors with me here. When you are measuring resistance using a multimeter, take your arrow to the, to the smallest value. 
and start measuring from there because you don't know the value of your resistor once you connect to your resistor like this now we can see the value of the resistor from 2 it does not read in that range now we go to 2k it is now reading we go to 20k 2k our resistor is 0.9k ohm that is 1k this is a resistor of 1 kilo ohm you can see let's measure another one Connect to your sister to the props like this, and now take we are to the lowest value. From there, let's increase the range. That is, this is a resistor of one kilo ohm. You can also measure this small resistor here, connect it to that terminal, and connect to the other terminal. Take your multimeter to the lowest, and start now increasing. To see where it reads. We cannot get any value in the range of 2k. With the range of 20k we are getting a value. So this is a resistor of 9.9 .9 kilo ohm. That is just 10 kilo ohm. The resistor of 10 kilo ohms. That is how we measure resistors. Now let's go to the diode mode. This other mode is called diode mode. The diode mode is used to measure if diode is okay or it is not okay. And it's also used to measure which terminal of the diode is positive and which is negative. It is also used to measure if a conductor is continuous, what we call continuity. Now, with this diode, when it is in the diode mode, the longer terminal is the positive terminal. Let me connect there, and I connect this other there. You can see this diode is okay. The diode is working, as you can see. If the diode, you try to reverse, connect the diode in the reverse bias, it will not read anything. It cannot read like this. So that diode is okay. The LED, light emitting diode, is okay. This other LED, you can see if it is okay using the meter. You can see this LED is very okay. It is giving out light. You can see it is giving out light. It is very okay. Now, there is this other diode. This diode, if you want to see which terminal is there, positive terminal and which terminal is the negative terminal you use this and you also measure if it is okay connect you are negative there and you are positive there you can see if you connect positive there and negative there it is forward biased meaning this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal you can see it is forward biased if you try to reverse it it will not now from that we are going to see how we can measure continuity having this long conductor and you don't know if it is broken inside or not broken, we can use the multimeter to see if the conductor is continuous. That is what we call continuity. You can see in the diode mode, if this conductor is continuous, you connect it, you can see. This cable is continuous. The other thing we can also measure using the diode mode is fuse. If you want to see if your fuse is okay, this is where you move your multimeter and then see the fuse is not blown, the fuse is okay. This is also other fuses. I can measure them. If they are okay, you measure like that. The fuse is very okay. This other fuse, you can measure using the diode mode. If it is okay, that fuse is okay. This other fuse, you can measure using the diode mode and you find this, the fuse is okay. The other thing we are going to measure is AC current. AC current. AC current is measured where there is this wave. Let's take to the lowest which is 2 milli ampere. For you to measure current, current is measured in series. To measure current, there must be load, which is consuming that current. Current cannot flow if there is no load. And we have to change our probe from the voltage to amperes. And now try to measure the current. Now, for us to measure current, I'm going to cut this conductor so that we can connect our multimeter in series with the conductor. After cutting that conductor, now I will supply it with power and try to measure the current which is flowing up to this bulb. How do I measure the current? I connect the there. You can see. Now the current is 0 0.03 ampere. The other thing we are going to measure is the capacitance. This is where we take our probe when we want to measure capacitance. Now, to measure capacitance, I have several capacitors. There is a milli 
farad, microfarad, microfarad, and nanofarad. I will take my multimeter to nanofarad because my capacitors are very small and try to measure. The longer terminal is the positive, the shorter terminal is the uh, neutral. Now, let's measure our capacitance. You can see. This is, I have this huge capacitor here. I can try to see what is the, the capacitance of this capacitor. When I connect it, you can see it is having 13.5 nanometers.